The Beatty brothers were two of the first oblates to come to Bishop Verreau in the 1980s, the late, the early 80s, 1980s. And uh, Father Joe came from Silesiana High School in Wilmington, Delaware, when he was assigned here to Bishop Verreau. And John came from Father Judge High School in Philadelphia, and he was assigned to uh, Bishop Verreau. They were just terrific guys. The funny thing is that when I first started here, I could not tell which one was which. Um, and which is odd now because after a while I got to know them. To see them, I mean, you never would really necessarily know they were twins. But the odd thing is when you don't see them together, it was, it was difficult. But they were just, they were true Vikings. I mean, in the sense of tradition, their spirit. Um, those guys probably, and I've been here quite a while, those two guys probably epitomized the, the Viking energy, the uh, appreciation for being at Bishop Row as much as anybody I've ever met here. And, and that's saying a lot. I mean, they were just genuine, they were humble, um, and, and truly in their own respects, they were both very different, even though they were twins. Well, as Oblates of St. Francis de Sales, they really, they actually practiced two of his greatest virtues in my, in my mind, and that was gentleness and humility. They were very, very, very humble, humble people, and very generous with their, their time, their talent. Uh, I knew both uh, Father John and Father Joe Beatty when I ran here, uh, while I attended Bishop Burrow High School. Uh, Father John passed away in my sophomore year, so I got to know him. Uh, he was the coach of the girls team, and Father Joe was my coach all four years, and he passed away after my senior year. Father Joe, I got to know really well over the course of my high school career. Um, he really, really helped me and the entire team, you know, obviously get better in what we were doing in cross country, but he also helped develop our faith a lot. He would implement a lot of um, the daily passages or um, stories about different saints and he would use them to inspire us you know to give our best in everything that we did. They were um, both of course theology teachers and each had their own style of teaching. They were coaches from the time I think they started here till the time really of the at the time that they that they passed away. Both of them were coaching up to that point even though they had retired from teaching at that, at that time. Uh, Father John was the chairman of the theology department for, geez, well over 10 years. Um, they, they just, Bishop Rowe was really their life, as, as I see it. I mean, they, they dedicated their whole time to being here. I think both Father Joe and Father John, be it in the classroom, or particularly uh, out on, the, on either the cross country or, or the track, um, they really push kids to be better, uh, to really realize their potential. I mean, as, as coaches, they were tough. You know, they really push their student athletes. But again, I think those people that were blessed to have been coached by them learned so much from them. Just not how to compete as athletes, but just how to compete in life, to really push themselves to work towards their potential and that, that truly was a gift that the, both fathers had and, uh, and I would hope that the freshmen, if they had had that opportunity or if they don't, if they do now with the coach, to truly you realize that's a, that's a big blessing in their life. So of course we have Beatty Square, we have Beatty Cafe. It's just unfortunate that like you guys will not have had the opportunity to have met them it's unfortunate we don't have any film footage of them or whatever, but that wasn't their deal. I mean, they, they were, as I said, very humble.